<laughs> Thank you. Give me my deal. Um. Back to. Something tells me our parting moment is at hand. Me. Who was that man we saw lying dead? <laughs> To that stone to which you point, answer me one question. Are these the shadows of things that will be, or shadows of things that may be? Men's causes in life foreshadow certain ends. But if these causes are departed from, these ends will change, isn't that so? No! Oh, no! Am I that man who lay upon the bed? Spirit! Why show me this if I have lost all hope? Finish! Finish to show me that I may change these shadows you've shown me. Change them by an altered life! No, Spinach! No! No, Spinach! Oh! Spinach! Help me! Finish! Christmas in my heart until you keep it on the air. I will not shut out the lessons of the past, nor present, nor future. Oh, pray, Spirit, tell me I may sponge away the writing on that stone. Yeah. <laughs> still here. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> still here. <laughs> still here. <laughs> know what to do. Light is a feather. Merry is a schoolboy. <laughs> Heard that laugh before. <laughs> I say, what's today? Eh? What's today, my fine fellow? Today? What Christmas day? It's Christmas day. I haven't missed it. The spirits have done it all in one night. They can do anything they like. Of course they can. Of course they can. <laughs> Hello, my fine fellow. Do you know the poulterers on the corner? I should hope I did. <laughs> what an intelligent boy. <laughs> you know whether they've sold the prize turkey that was hanging there? Not the little prize turkey, the big one. The one as big as me? <laughs> what a delightful child. <laughs> yes, my book. It's hanging there now. Is it? Go and buy it then. Walker. No, no, I'm in earnest. Go and buy it. Bring it back here and I'll give you a shilling. Come back in less than five minutes and I'll give you a half a crown. I'll send it to Bob Cratchit's. He shan't know who sent it. It's twice the size of Tiny Tim. <laughs> Miss Dilber. Merry Christmas! Oh my God! <laughs> my dear Mrs. Dilber, you're the loveliest creature I have ever laid eyes upon. <laughs> Dance with me, Mrs. Dilber. Dance with me. Oh, <laughs> me, Mr. Scrooge. Charming woman. <laughs> I love it as long as I live. What an honest face it has. Mm. Hello? Here's the bird. Hello! Whoop! <laughs> How are you? Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's impossible to carry that to Camden Town. You must have a cab. Drive on, my good man! <laughs> Shut up! Dear sir, how do you do? I hope you succeeded yesterday. A Merry Christmas to you, sir. Mr. Scrooge? Yes, that is my name. And I fear it may not be pleasant to you. But allow me to ask your pardon. And will you have the goodness 
Leslie, my, my dear Mr. Scrooge, are you serious? And not a farthing less. A great many back payments are included in it. I assure you. My dear sir, I, I don't know what to say to such... Don't, don't say anything. I'm much obliged to you. Many thanks to you. And bless you. The master at home? Yes, sir. His uncle. He's an animal that grunts and growls. Yes. And lives in London? Yes. A horse? No. A cow? No. A dog? No. A pig? No. An ass? Yes and no. Ooh. But it is, Fred, I know! Right. It's your... Scrooge. Bless my soul. Come to dinner. Coming here at this time of day. I'm oh, very sorry, sir. I, I, I am a bit behind in my time. You are indeed. Step in here. It's only once a year, sir. It, it should not be repeated. I, I was making rather merry yesterday. Now I'll tell you what, Mr. Cratchit. I'm not going to stand for this sort of thing any longer. And therefore. And therefore. I am about to raise your salary. Merry Christmas to you, Bob. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Bob, my good fellow. Then I have given you in many a year. I'll raise your salary and do whatever I can to help your struggling family. And we'll discuss your affairs this very afternoon over a bowl of Christmas punch. <laughs> but first, let's make up the fires. I want you to go out <laughs> and buy another scuttle of coal before you dot another eye, Bob Cratchit. Hold you, Bob. We were saving to do. Hello, Bob! Yeah. Yeah, yes, sir. Right the way, sir. <laughs> and Scrooge was better than his word. He did all that he said he would, and more. And to our tiny Tim, who got well, Scrooge was like a second father. He became as good a friend, as good a master, and as good a man as the good old city ever knew. And it was always said of him that he knew how to keep Christmas well. And so, as tiny Tim observed. God bless you.